What is up everyone, welcome back to CW Films. In today's videos, I'm going to be talking about the pros and cons of CGI storyboarding and written storyboarding. Let's get right into it. So when it comes to storyboarding, there is two main ways you can do it. You can do it virtually on a CGI format, like Blender here or something similar, or you can physically write out every shot. Now, I have been in the process of making a certain film for about three years now. And today I actually finished storyboarding for it. I started about a little, probably about a month ago. And right here is actually the storyboard. I can't show it because the film is still in progress, but it's, I think it's, let's see, 23 pages and about 105 frames. It took about a month to do. And I brought, I bring this up because I didn't only do that. Something I did was whenever there was a shot that I wasn't really 100% on where I'm like, is that gonna work? I need to see it. I, I don't know if this shot's gonna look good this way or the other. So I went into something like Blender, recreated a very basic model of the shot just to see how the camera movements worked. So let me show you a very basic example of what I mean. A very basic example of what I'm trying to say is something I actually did when storyboarding. There was a shot that I didn't know if I wanted it to be a standstill shot where the camera does not move at all or a shot that has a little pull on the camera. So what I did is I had a shot like this where I just didn't move the camera and it was like this. But then what I did was I built out a little, you know, just a little scene that the scene was gonna look like. And then I just keyframed the camera, like, I'm just keyframing it like this, and pushed it forward. And I tried to see, you know, how it would look. So then I would go back in and would say, okay, I actually like it pushing. You can do this in Blender, you can do this in just storyboarding, virtual storyboarding apps and software as you can get. Just whenever I was storyboarding, the one thing I, I knew I could count on was to do a very basic modeling on was Blender. So I made a very model, a very basic set, did some camera rigging, and I got a very basic set. So if you're wondering, should I go for the basic written storyboarding or for virtual storyboarding, I would say do both. And here's what I mean by that. Even if you're not a good artist, I think it is extremely important you write down every frame when storyboarding with a with a pencil and paper, okay? I think it's very important, even if you're not a good artist, and I'm definitely not a good artist, but I still storyboard. As long as you look at a frame and you know what you're supposed to accomplish, that's all that matters. And it's, it helps if your actors also know what you're doing, but it really, it doesn't really matter. As long as you, the one handling the camera, or whoever's handling the camera understands what you've written, that's all that matters because that's all really storyboarding is for. It's for the, it's for the cinematographers and the videographers. When they are filming, they know what they are supposed to accomplish. Now, when you are writing down every single shot that's gonna be in your film, there will be some scenes that you're like, I don't know if it's gonna look good if there's this camera movement or this camera movement or this action and this action, what am I supposed to do? That's when you use a virtual storyboard. When you go in, you virtually recreate your scene and you see how it looks, see how it feels, and you basically edit it to how you, your scene is supposed to look. And you do it either way, one way or the other, to see which one fits your film better. So I'm not saying storyboard your entire film virtually or animate the entirety of your film, only scenes that you think it, that's necessary. But anyway, all that is the end of today's video. Thank you all so much for watching and I hope it helped. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know anytime we post a brand new video. And don't forget to check out our Discord, link in the description. And I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.